Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I got a lot of feedback from people regarding Microsoft Netmon. <laughs> a lot of people forgot all about it. You know what? So did I. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to go through uh, some more Netmon stuff, for lack of a better word. I've had a Actually, the majority of the people responding um, said they wish Netmon could be executed from the command line, kind of like T Shark and Wireshark, and and it's you can, it's it's absolutely there. You don't have to do anything extra. So uh, just backing up a, a half a step for you. So uh, Netmon, we've actually installed the driver here, Microsoft Netmon driver. There's a million ways to do this. That's not what we're doing right now. I'm just going to show you the command prompt stuff. So I'm just going to move that back aside. And every once in a while, I'll open it up in Wireshark just to prove to you that I'm not uh, full of it and that it actually works. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, from the command prompt, you just type N N M N M cap enter, and you'll see that it says uh, slash usage or slash examples. So you can actually go through this now. It's not case sensitive these options, so you can just uh, type slash usage. You'll see all this stuff fly on the screen. Uh, in the actual um, article and in the YouTube notes, I'll paste these commands that I'm showing you right now into the actual YouTube article, and that way you'll see that. So the first thing is, um, what adapters do you have? Well, it's uh, NMCAP Display Networks, believe it or not, not Display Adapters, Display Networks. You get the same kind of output you get with uh, T-Shark, and you can see the numbers correspond to adapters. Please pay attention to the number. I'm playing with my gig ethernet adapter, which is number three. So you're gonna see a lot of number threes in my uh, next few examples. So the next one is um, how do you actually uh, test this out to make sure it's going to work and you don't have any issues with your adapter. So what we're gonna do is just uh, NCAP, NMCAP slash network space three. And uh, when you do that, you will see the little counter come up here. Uh, you obviously have to generate a little bit of traffic, or you can wait uh, for traffic to appear. I'll just um, start up Internet Explorer, and there, there's a website, there's some traffic. And you can actually see uh, the counters increment uh, accordingly, okay? So the key here is that nothing is being saved. I did not provide a file name. So I'm just, just checking that I see the packets on the wire. That's all I'm doing. Because sometimes you've got funky adapters or you're trying to use it in a, a VPN adapter, you know, that kind of thing. So you want to make sure it actually works. Uh, the next thing is obviously how do we actually capture to a file. So let's do that. NMCAP slash network3, that's my Ethernet adapter, slash capture, which is what I want to do, and slash file and the file name. So I just called it 3.cap to match my adapter. So now when I press enter, uh, again, I'll just quickly uh, bring up uh, the web browser. There you go, love my tool, all that good stuff. My uh, Internet Explorer security stuff is popping up. That's fine. So anyways... There you go. It worked. And you can see the save counter went up as well. I just did control C to stop it. Uh, and, and that's the end of that. The next popular one is how do you capture this with an actual filter? Uh, and here we go. And so NM capture network three is my ethernet capture. It's what I want to do. IPv4 dot address. So there's my actual uh, field name or variable name, double equals and the IP address file equals IP dot cap. So now when I hit enter, you'll see, again, the counters will go up. Um, you can see the saved counter and the received counter. See, they're kind of going back and forth. I will just start a quick ping to that IP address. All right, and you can see the saved counter is going up. And there you go, I've got some packets. Um, I'm just gonna, again, do a control C. In this case, what I'll do is I'll take it a step further. I'll actually type ip.cap and Wireshark will launch and you can see the, the packets there. I had an interesting uh, problem with this uh, on my uh, wireless network. I was capturing from my wireless card and all the packets coming back were displayed by Netmon and not Wireshark. And that had something to do with the privacy bit being set in the packet. And Wireshark uh, didn't decode the return packets. It just said uh, 802.11. Uh, anyways, I'm rambling. Sorry about that. 
the last one I'm going to do is a little longer one, which people have been asking me as well. NCAP, NMCAP slash network3 capture IPv address is that same one, same name, and then slash start when, so the time, and then you can say uh, stop when after 20 minutes. So this will actually start capturing at 4.48 p.m. and then uh, stop after 20 minutes. That's a very popular one as well. So there you go. Just more of the common stuff you're probably going to want to do with it. Hope that helps, and you have a good day. Bye for now.